Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. First thing is to create a new composition and let's name it Sphere Kinetic Type. And on the resolution let's make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration and press OK. Cool. So let's start adding some cool typography. First, select the text tool, choose your favorite font and write something. Please don't make it too big because we will repeat this world around. Cool. Now we have our text and let's go to the top menu and go to effects, stylize and choose the CC repertile effect. On this effect, we will expand right until we meet the edge of the composition and we will expand down until we meet the bottom of the composition. Perfect. If you need to adjust the kerning of your letters to make them look better, do it. Cool. With that done, we will apply our next effect on this world. So let's go back to Effects, Stylize, and this time let's select Motion Tile. And now with our Motion Tile selected, let's click on the Tile Center stopwatch to mark a keyframe. And be sure to be on frame 0. Then let's move our timeline needle to the last keyframe, and on our Tile Center values let's multiply them by 5. As we change the values here, After Effects will mark a, key a new keyframe automatically. So let's preview it. And yes, our text is moving and that's great news. With that done, let's select our text layer and go to the top menu and select Layer, Precompose. And let's name this new composition Text Comp. Now it's time to transform this composition into a sphere. So with our composition selected, let's return to Effects and let's go to Perspective and select CC Sphere. Cool. Now we have a great sphere in our scene. And the only problem is it has shadows. And that's different from the look I'm going for which is all flat. So inside of the effect settings, let's do a few things. First, let's make the render just to be in the outside of the sphere. So we don't see these overlaps of typography. Then let's open the shading properties and increase the ambient value until we no longer see that shading part. Perfect. Now let's go to rotation and adjust the rotation values until we find a perspective that we like. And finally, let's adjust the radius to make this a nice size. And that's it. Then let's preview it, and yeah, it's done. It's ready to add to our render queue and render. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. Remember to like to, and to subscribe and leave a comment. And please consider supporting this channel with only $1 a month or $10 a year on my Buy Me A Coffee page. I will leave the link in the video description. And that's it. Thank you so much again. Have a good day, a good life, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.